Sight Reading Factory is a program that auto-generates notation for sight reading practice, just like the name says. Create ensemble sight reading for students when you're in person in class or for individual instruments. Create assignments or pull Sight Reading Factory up from the software tab and start using it with students right in front of you. You can use their pre-built levels, customize your own, or allow students to customize as they are completing an assignment. We'll cover all those basics and how to create an assignment using Sight Reading Factory. And you'll also find videos for creating tasks using music, practice first, and flat for education. Teachers and students can launch Sight Reading Factory from the software tab and begin sight reading right away. Just click Start Sight Reading. Your option for ensembles, rhythm only or tone sets, as well as any instrument you could imagine. Select a built-in Sight Reading Factory level. Again, we'll cover how to customize our own a little bit later. You can select one or multiple time signature and key signature. You see suggested right up front just to save a little screen space, but you can also choose all major or all minor. Free play is infinite, ongoing sight reading practice. So imagine your students walk in, they begin setting up their instruments or warming up their voices, getting into position. And there is a sight reading exercise for the entire ensemble pulled up on a smart board or a projector. Once everyone's settled in, you count them off and you start your rehearsal with a sight reading exercise. Every time you click next, you get brand new notation within the parameters that you have designated. You can always go back and update, play the opening pitch, you can even change how the opening pitch is played, you can subdivide the metronome, flip the ensemble parts to make it easier for folks to read. You can change the tempo, turn the metronome on or off. You can adjust the screen size. So no matter what type of device or screen you're using, you can make things as easy to read as possible. You can change the length of the exercise or turn on annotations, pitch name, scale degrees, and three methods of solfege. You can even choose your minor scale if you're working in the minor mode. I'm going to go back and demonstrate a different instrument and then take a look at challenge mode. Challenge mode is a reflection of what students will see when they complete an assignment using Sight Reading Factory. You as the teacher have the ability to give them a number of seconds for a countdown. This is the time they have to prepare before the recording begins. You can turn on a metronome or a cursor. You can make the measures disappear or auto advance. You can give the students the option to record so they can listen back to themselves and compare against the actual notation. This helps students work on their own self-assessment and then they can choose if they need to complete another attempt before submitting, just like with free play. Every time we hit the next button after our countdown, we see new notation within the set parameters. Our countdown restarts, we get clicked in in tempo, and then the recording begins.
Same options to play the starting pitch. Turn that metronome on or off before the recording. Adjust your tempo or any additional settings. Students are not able to make these adjustments when you create an assignment for them. If you want to create custom levels, you can click the SRF icon to be taken to your homepage. While we're here, you can save any configuration and come back to it later. You can adjust some of your preferences. And here under levels, we can set up a custom level. These can be used in a small group setting. Uh, maybe you have three different instruments meeting at a time, or you can customize a level for one particular student or instruments. Select your rhythm attributes and rhythm difficulty, as well as any additional rhythm options. You set a pitch range for each instrument. If you have multiple instruments, you can set up multiple pitch ranges, one for each instrument. You can add accidentals, dynamics, maybe you just start every exercise on the tonic. You can customize your leaps, get very granular, or you can just set a max leap. And then save the level and then pull it up like we looked at. Select one or more key and time signature. And you have your free play or your challenge mode. Now let's take a look at two different types of assignments using Sight Reading Factory. We'll do one specific set for a certain experience level of student, and we'll do a general recurring exercise where students can customize what they submit and you can easily make multiple copies of assignments and share them with students. I want to create my assignment for my symphony band class, so I'm going to open that up first. To create a task, select Create here on the right-hand side or from the plus side on the left. Anytime you create a task, whether it's with software or not, you'll see the same music first options that you'll need to go through. Some things like title are required, some things like due date are optional. No matter what type of software you're using, you'll need to create a task first. Leave music first software selected under task type, then choose your software tool from the dropdown. Each Music First classroom has its own unique software selection, so your drop-down list or software tab may look a little bit different than what you see on my screen. We're going to leave Symphony Band selected. I could add this assignment to a unit if I chose, but I do have to give it a title. Any directions for my students go here in the description field of the task. You can select a due date and a time if you choose, though that is not required. And under Assign to All in Class, if I uncheck this, I'm going to choose my Level 1 Sight Reading Group. I've set this up previously in my class. I recommend watching the Creating Classes tutorial video because that will show you recommendations for setting up and organizing your classes, including creating student groups for differentiation or assessment groups, which we'll see in Area 4 which help keep your grade book organized. You can add standards if you wish or create your own standards under Settings and Standards Management. Sight Reading Factory is not going to grade students automatically, but you can still add it to the grade book just for a number of points or 
you can build out a grading rubric. This helps give your students some grading guidance and it allows you to score students with each of the categories that you create. So if students' rhythms are terrific, but their notes are not quite so terrific, you can give them high points in one category, but give them feedback and lower scores in another category to reinforce what they're doing well, as well as encourage them to keep working on certain elements of sight reading. Now we have an even 25 points, but I can set up as many points as I wish, create as many objectives as I wish. Once I've gone through these music first settings, I then select create task. The most important step for creating a task using Sight Reading Factory or any music first software tool is to click open in Sight Reading Factory. If you do not do this, the assignment will not be complete. Students won't be able to access it or submit anything. In fact, they'll just see an error message. So make sure you click Open in Sight Reading Factory. You can reiterate student instructions here. You can set a limit to their attempts. What we found is that setting unlimited attempts is a little too free reign for your overachievers and students who are less motivated will submit one and then just send it back to you. Setting the attempt limit to three, five, seven limits the students reaching for perfection and also encourages students to do more than simply one attempt. You can do a rhythm only exercise, but most teachers let their students choose their instrument. This also means you only need to create one task in order for every student in your ensemble or the student group to choose and complete the assignment. Here we're going to stick with the built-in Sight Reading Factory level one, but I can choose a custom level. And I'm going to choose my key signature and my time signature for students instead of letting them choose this time. The next assignment we create will have more flexibility for students. We can change the length of the exercise, change the tempo, give students a certain number of seconds to prepare, turn the metronome on or off with subdivisions or not, make the measures disappear, the style of the cursor, add measure numbers, note annotations, and the same minor options. And then we click Attach Assignment to Task and Confirm. And with that, the assignment is complete. We're now going to create a more generic assignment for students, make it a favorite, and then schedule it multiple times. To do that, we start the same process by selecting Create Task and going through the same Music First elements. One suggestion, create a weekly sight reading factory assignment. Tell your students you're not going to grade each student every time, but pick out of a hat or use a random generator on the internet and pick a random student or a handful of students each time. That way, students are held accountable for completing and submitting assignments because they don't know which one is going to be graded, but you're not holding yourself accountable for grading 25, 60, 80, 200 students every week for their sight reading practice. We're going to use the custom options inside Sight Reading Factory to allow the students to choose what they want as far as levels, rhythms, key signature, and time signature, and they'll be able to choose what they submit. I'm not going to choose a due date this time, but I am going to add this to the gradebook. These will be worth 15 points each. 
I'm going to select points earned so students just see a numeral so they'll see they got 13 or 14 out of 15 instead of a percentage grade. Same thing here, we're going to select create task and click open in sight reading factory. We're going to allow five attempts this time and we're going to let our students choose and customize a level. They go through the same settings that we as the teacher go through in order to create a custom level in Sight Reading Factory. So they set the range, rhythm elements, max leaps, and you can also give them the option to choose key signature and time signature. We're going to give them the same tempo, countdown length, metronome, cursor, and then attach assignment to task. Once this is confirmed, I'm going to click make favorite. And let me show you why. Under class calendar, under from favorites, we have our weekly sight reading. I'm going to assign the sight reading task to be due every Friday for the rest of the school year. These are all invisible tasks so students won't see them until you click the gear icon and make visible or under the class overview page, make visible from here as well. It's a great opportunity to add a header, which is a way of organizing your class overview to put these in a nice list in chronological order. You can email Music First Support at any time using support at musicfirst.com and we'll get back to you as quickly as possible. We're happy to help, so don't hesitate to reach out.